Chris. There must be some compelling reasons there if you can't put it down when you get in my cab. Well, I wish it was. Unfortunately, it's still all about me. Ah, fame. Fame, that glittering bubble. <laughs> you? Me. You? Me, yes. The cab driver. There is no need to thank you. I'm not riding with you. <laughs> well, it's a bit of a riot out there. I'm much safer in here at least. I'm getting my spot. I'm fine. Try on. Right. Right. Could you call me? Could you please comment on what was said? Coincidence? Not really, sir. You did call a cab. Yes, but not you. <laughs> well, you're on my route, sir, as you well know. Well, you're driving me is Ironic? Is that a word you're looking for? No. Irritating. Irritating. <laughs> yes, irritating. Because you hadn't had a chance to thank me for the last time. Face to face. Man to man, as you seem to prefer, sir. Yes, thank you so much for ruining my life. I should have thanked you at the time. After all, it would have been better if you just let me burn up in that theatre and been done with it. I don't know why they make such a big deal about a simple man rescuing an MP out of a burning cinema. Doing my duty as a man. Yes. I don't know why they made such a fuss. I mean, there's plenty of able-bodied men right there. I don't know why they didn't give you a hand. <laughs> well, there was a great deal of panic about. What was the name of that film you were in? Oh, that's right, Bareback Grease Monkeys. <laughs> that was the film, Bareback Grease Monkeys. You were in the film, Bareback Grease Monkeys. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The film, Bareback Grease Monkeys, yes. Yes, that was the film, Bareback Grease, Grease Monkeys. Grease Monkeys, yes, yes, yes I know. I remember, everyone does. Yeah, you're lucky to have your life. Could have died like everyone that ever meant anything to me, sir. I'm sure there's some poor lone bastard Glad that you didn't perish that night during a screening of bareback grease monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Would you please stop saying that? What, that you're a lucky man? Sir? No, bareback grease monkeys. Oh, as you say so, sir. Bareback grease monkeys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, the subsequent fame, of course, of rescuing a member of the parliament. Well, I have a new appreciation for your life, sir. <coughs> well, I don't think you do. My life is in shambles. The great tragedy is my wife has left me. Mm. Tragedy compounded by the fact you didn't get to see the end of Bareback Grease Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Please stop saying that. Oh, Bareback Grease Monkey. Yes. Oh, God, I really have bugged up my life. Well, sir, you shouldn't be rolling fags in the dark. That close to so much petroleum products. I've been trying to give it up for years. <laughs> what, smoking, sir? No, fags. <laughs> Look, I, I, I don't want you to think I do it all the time. Oh, Nick, I don't. I don't. You don't? No, it's quite rare. It's quite rare for a man to burst into flame with his pants down around his ankles, sneered in petroleum <laughs> products during a <laughs> prestigious screening of bareback <laughs> Quite rare. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that's one of Dickie Edinburgh's films, isn't it? It's a nature film, isn't it? Bareback Grease Monkeys. I haven't seen Bareback Grease Monkeys myself, but Bareback Grease Monkeys caught your eye when Bareback Grease Monkeys must be here. <laughs> and I was telling Parkinson's on the TV interview. Yes, yes, I caught the show live from the wings. Your segment bumped mine for time, actually. I was going to go on and speak about the plight of homeless children. Oh, then, then you would have seen me in the interview. I said to him, I like those nature films like Bareback Grease Monkeys. <laughs> you know, where it's the monkeys, they're hierarchy. How they uh, try and establish dominance. The alpha males, much like yourself, sir, beating their, uh, their chests to establish dominance. <laughs> Love those films. Ugh. <clears throat> yes, well, Parkinson seemed rather taken with you, what with the weak, long interview. Well, this is no time for false modesty. Yes, he was. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot to say and no one that will listen, sir. I mean, I have a lot to say about things. The last time someone asked my opinion, they said, where is Princess Street? <laughs> <laughs> now, now, of course, my opinion seems to have weight. Oh, they want to know all kinds of things about fashion, who in the derby and uh, Oh, they asked me to be a judge on UK Idol. Why I was in the gentleman's? In the gentleman's, sir. There's no escape. <laughs> yes, well, enjoy your 15 minutes. Well, I was in the gentleman's for more than 15 minutes, and I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> of course, they never asked my opinion about butt burn. No, I would think not. But they might ask your opinion about crotch burn, mightn't they? <laughs> Look, I know you're trying to be funny. Oh, don't use that poncy tone with me, sir. It's the only one I've got. 
We're both in the same boat, you and I. Only you're in the Queen Mary, and I'm in a dinghy. Oh yes, how is that? <laughs> We're both been thrust into a sea of media attention. I mean, I've not to insulate myself like you. No, I go out. I go out to get my paper. I've got people shoving their long lenses where they don't belong, but I guess you'd know all about that. <laughs> and then at 4 a.m., 4 a.m. I get woken up. I thought it was the milkman wanting his hat back. But nay, <laughs> nay, nay, nay. It's that Jerry Hollowell want to know about her miniskirt. She's trying this one on and that. You know, she's dancing about to a chorus of flash bulbs outside. I mean, you've got a life built for fame with some shielding. I don't think I'm that shielded as you say. She managed to get into my house as well. Ugh. Yes, she was dancing around in some cheerleader outfit, and there I was. The nation schoolboy who soiled himself, and all the other children are laughing and pointing. People I've known for years will not return my calls, whereas people I've never met in my life know more about me than I ever wanted them to. I thought I could do something good and useful with my life. Fame has its uses, but infamy. Infamous bloody hell. Well, it'll pass, sir. Like my 15 minutes. Yes, well, it's not. Well, that courier has. It's not passing fast enough, I can tell you that. <laughs> You'd be right about that. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong in your bucket for life. Well, thank you, that's very reassuring. Why don't you just drive over a bridge so that I might leap out? I can be arranged, sir. Able in advance. <laughs> Payroll in advance! <laughs> <laughs> it's a driving joke. I always enjoy it, Jeff, as soon as I'm made aware of it. <laughs> Jokes help pass the time if our death inevitably chauffeurs us away from our miserable lives into oblivion. <laughs> well, you're a ray of sunshine, aren't you? <laughs> Our lives are a joke, sir. You and I were on the same sinking boat, the HMS overexposure. <laughs> All hands on deck. I beg your pardon. I said on deck, I'm from Glasgow. <laughs> <laughs> you're in the four because you've got money and power. I'm in the four as I have none. I've got that Tony Blair calling me at all hours of the night, wanting my opinion on the Middle East. I told him, I'm not a simple man, I'm a complex man. Much like the problem you wish to address. Then wait, Tony Blair's calling you for advice? Oh, uh, he never called me. Who's he going to call next? Bloody Jerry Halliwell? Oh, you already did that. How do you think he got my number, sir? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say to you? He said, come over Thursday. I said, nay, that's TV night. That's when they show the reruns of the Thunderbirds. I love those like those puppets where you can see the screens manipulating the characters. Yes, George, you'll indeed, whatever you want. Yay! You mind? Whatever you want, the ship is state, sir. You're keeping your hand on My the hands wheel. are on the wheel, sir. What now? Bloody nuns! <laughs> oh! Sorry about that one. I love puppets. <laughs> Putting a good word for Tony with you. You'll see him tonight. Oh, aye, you're in my last fear. I never could get a one on one with Tony Blair when things were going well. My life is ruined. My wife has left me, taking the children. My personal life smeared across every tabloid in the country. I'm a laughing stock. I wish I was dead. That can be arranged, sir. That can be arranged. Able in advance. <laughs> Able in advance, sir. Do you want to go on? Do you want to go on? Yes, yes, I'd like to go on. There are lots of people, myself included, that are very glad you didn't perish that day during the screening of Bareback Grease Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> you know something, sir? I found that there's good fares and there's bad fares. As long as there's another destination, oh, you just keep going, sir. Yes, yes, I, I, I suppose you're right. Yes, I suppose I am. Look, I, I don't think I've um, properly thank you for um, pulling you out of that flaming cinema. That's one way to put it, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> thank you. <coughs> All this talk of final destinations, I forgot to ask you, so where are we going? <laughs> well, um, there's a screen, a Crisco Kringle. Down on 4th Street, yes. sir, I know it. Yeah. Uh, keep the meter running. I always do. Thank you. Are we stopping for that? Uh, yes. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>